Money from Tonys and Oscars and Emmys and Grammys. There's no red carpet because they're home in their jammies. From Melrose Place to Broadway to Janeway and her crew. Let Seth and James bring all the stars to you. Anywho. They're entertaining everyone, so who's gonna grouse? Just sit right back and you'll hear some tales on Stars in the Hi, everyone. Welcome to Stars in the House. James? I'm going to see how far he, I'm gonna see how far he commits. James? <laughs> oh. Well, that's all you had to say. <laughs> oh. You can't even, you can't even yeah, yes and. No, because it's, it's, it's too, hashtag too soon. Too soon. He really is exhausted. Oh, my God. Um. It's all worth it. It's it's when you're exhausted. If it's all, especially when there's a happy uh, ending, it's it's all worth it. Yes, queen. Oh my gosh! Look at the look at this. By the way, we haven't. I got. I had it on Seth Instagram. For Hanukkah. Wait, look. It's wait. I've never seen anything look worse. Hold on. Wait, Actually, hold on. right there. Oh, Come on now. look at that angel. For our serious XM listeners, you'll have to watch the live stream. Yes, it's but a blanket. It's a blanket the... of basically every animal in this household. Oh, which such is a, a lot of animals. Yes, ma'ams. <laughs> So welcome to Starts in the House, which is a fundraiser for the Actress Fund. We've been going since March when everything shut down. Um, the Actress Fund is for everybody in the arts. So it's actress, singer, dancer, everyone backstage, stage manager, musicians, um, people in front of house, ushers, house managers, people in front of the camera, behind the cameras, anybody in the arts, whatever you do in the arts, publicists, you can get uh, money from the Actress Fund and they're up to their second funding right now. So if you've already gotten money for rent or your medical bills, you can actually get your second dose right rent, now. Is that a pun? Um, all right, because we did the song from Rent. It's all coming together. Yeah. You go to actressfund.org if you need any kind of cash or just social services, go to actressfund.org. If you can give some cashola, donate at starsinthehouse.com or text FUND2020 to 56512. You're gonna get a receipt for the receipt to donations at starsinthehouse.com, and then we'll send that to one of our artists tonight, and they will read your name on, well, hopefully. They will hopefully read your name on the air. Sometimes, sometimes they get to us too late, we don't get it to them, but. Oh, that is true, that is true. But they'll read it um, on the we'll air. get to as many as we can. We can finally, by the way, so tonight's show, we're gonna finally talk about what has been our big quote unquote secret yes. for the last month. Oh my God, we have so many blankets already. Why, hi everybody, hi Sharla, so many people. So, hi Carol. So, um, so, so, we, so literally, Right before the show, our main computer went down, so we may be a little bit out of sync. We have a second. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, we, we have, have a, a second computer here, but it's it's everything's. Uh, so I'm right. looking at myself here, but the screen is here, but this here. So it's a horrific setup. And I think it's out of sync. But you know what? I don't. The video was good in in the sync world, and it looked great. So if our live stream isn't as good as and the video, quite frankly. Lighting is on point tonight. The what? Thank you, Queen. This is all it took—a complete breakdown of a computer. Yes, ma'am. Um, okay, oh, so we're we going to deconstruct. So people, yeah, we have so many people on tonight. Um, I, I, oh, the sink is fine. So there's a lot of babbling about the sink. Wow. Da well, it's, thanks, David. It's weird for us. So I'm glad it's good. Um, so Jenna Ushkowitz is here. Charlotte Damboise. Shelly Williams is going to be here any minute. Who directed Jabari Williams? Who edited it? Shelby Rasser, who did my mixing. Jabari Williams. <laughs> what did you say, Jabari You're Williams? Yes, Jabari Sorry, I combined. <laughs> so it's You're combining. Every we're so Shelly tired Payne. We're combining everyone's names. I can't. <laughs> um, also, we have me, me, Daphne Rubin Vega, Andy Carl, or Faye, Natasha Vet Williams, Jose Lana, who was um, Angel and Rant. We have so many people telling right. their story about about making this video that we. Debuted last night um, at the inauguration, our Broadway inauguration video, and how it all happened. We thought it'd be fun to deconstruct how everything happened. So, hi, Natasha. Natasha's very, how's she supposed to be here. Why are you watching? Well, because she's coming on later. <laughs> it's hilarious. She's like, Thanks, outer, Natasha. inner. Thanks, <laughs> Natasha. Um, okay, anywho, so should we start? Well, I think we should start because Shelly's not here yet anyway. Yeah. So, start because here's the thing Stars in the House viewers who are with us every night, there were clues given. And we were trying to figure it out last night of when it began. And at first we thought we got the call on Tuesday. And then I looked at my text and it was actually Wednesday during, Wednesday during Myths and Hymns. So it was exactly a week before the inauguration. And Seth, do you have that video? Yes, but you... the yeah, first ahead. thing that happened was we had the New York Times article okay, come yeah. out. So let's we had the New York let's Times try. article come out. We got an email from a volunteer with the Biden committee. 
yeah. right? Okay, so it was we and and I so and like, I want to keep her uh, identity. I don't. There's so many things that were top secret. Uh, yeah, that we don't understand, but which is talk about above our pay grade. So we so we had gotten this email and it was like this is not spam. I'm a volunteer, and I'm like, oh, that's nice, a volunteer from that's the sweet. inaugural committee. Maybe and she'll I be just, an intern for Stars in the House. And I thought, okay, I'll just I'll look up her name. You know, I'll Google her name. And if I say, say if, what if she, she was, let's say that she's so high up. She was so high up in the Obama Biden administration that if I said what her jobs were, you'd easily know who she was. It was so, yeah. but and she just said, you know, we're we're we, I we know that we want Broadway is going to be one of the last industries to come back, if not the last one. And so I loved your article. And I don't even know if she necessarily knew about what the world means now is love. Or, no, it's sort of or like George on my mind. I no. think she just saw, oh, these guys know Broadway. know Broadway and let me call them. And she was super nice. And and she and she and she talked to us for a little bit. And then we didn't hear it. Any... But, you know, she basically said yeah, go ahead. she basically was saying, yeah, my know, memory is all over the place. Go ahead. She said, basically was saying there should be a number for um for the inauguration. Right. So I, that is true. that's when I first began thinking about let the sunshine in. So I thought, Oh, let the sunshine in is a great number because we would do concert for America. We would always end with let the sunshine in. So I began thinking about that. And then by the way, I then went to the next step and I was like, but the beginning of let the sunshine in is, uh, you know, we start look at one another. Sure. It has a whole, you know, um, on a, uh, what is it? Uh, outer space sitar. I was like, we can't talk about an outer space sitar. I was like, that makes no sense. I'm like, if we're going to do let the sunshine in, I'm like the fifth dimension did Aquarius and let the sunshine in. So it's like, I can't wait to do it. Silence. And, and then this, you have to remember, this is like December 30th. Yeah. So we all know that the last three weeks of our lives have been, have felt like three years. And so we'd gotten that call or that email. And then she explained us actually, she basically said, peace out. And then she said, you know, Ricky Kirshner's putting together a great show. Ricky Kirshner, who yeah. does, who does the Tony Wars and he does the, you know, he does the, what's it called? Democratic National Convention. Yeah, he does everything. He goes, Ricky Kirshner's doing everything. We're like, that's great. But then we just like, you know what? And we, had we know Ricky. With him when yeah. we did uh, what the world needs sounds love. So we sent him an email saying, P.S., if you want something Broadway, we'll tell you help you. But then we're like, he doesn't need our help. Like, he literally does the Tony Awards. Like, but uh, we were like, whatever. We'll just say, right. you, if you ever need us, you can always call us. And we all know that, uh, that, that, Things were crazy during the transition, and that's being nice. And so we just assumed, look, they've got a lot on their plate, and why would Broadway be at the top of their agenda? Yeah, so we um, faded out. So we just kind of faded out. We were a little bit disappointed, but we understood. Yeah, it was fine. We got cut so much to, fun. Wednesday to, afternoon, I look at my email, which, by the way, literally eight days ago. So around six o'clock, I look at an email. It says, "Hey, Seth, can you call me at four thirty? And it's from. Ricky Kirshner. And I'm like, it's six o'clock. I can't go back in time. So I'm like, ah. And the only number he left was a business number. So I call and I was like, you have reached the office. And I was like, ah. So I wrote him back. I said, sorry, Mr. Sorry, I missed your email. Call anytime. So that was the so I was like hoping that maybe something happened. And I suspected he was gonna call me during the show. So is that what I'm showing <laughs> right now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's perfect. So we're doing the show that night. I said, and I said to James, I said, Ricky Kirshner wants to talk to this. Maybe something good will happen. And during the show, I see an unlisted number. And here's that moment. <laughs> Thanks today. So we're celebrating. We want, oh my God, someone's calling me. Hold on one second. Read this, hold on. Hello? I knew it was you. James, it's the call we were waiting for. Hold on. You All take right, over. Okay. Ricky, you're hilarious. Let's just say that that kind of matches the Chandra Wilson, if not more, I hate to say that about Chandra Wilson um, call. So sorry about that. We can explain later. <laughs> I What I meant was, because I was so... You made uh, an amazing I know, I was so flustered. I was like, <laughs> because because we had talked to... Because what the next, was the next day, Chandra? Was Grey's yeah, Anatomy? Yeah, Thursday was Grey's Anatomy. Oh, so Grey's Anatomy was the next day. We had right. just announced Grey's Anatomy. And, you know, Chandra Wilson who's on the Western Council, the Actors Fund had organized it. And and so, and I was trying to, what I was trying to say was that this call is even as amazing as it was for Chandra Wilson and Grey's Anatomy to happen. Because she had called us an hour before and we yes, were freaking yes, out talking to yes. her. Yes. So he was like, it's just as exciting, but I'm more exciting. But no, we love Chandra. She's really excited. <laughs> like, Cut, I'm covering for me. <laughs> so I went downstairs and I was talking to Ricky. And he's like talking for a long time. And and Myths and Hymns, Seth knows so well. Oh yeah, it was that, a salute to Myths and Hymns, a and, show that I actually did the original production and, of, like and, the original reading. But thank God that I had seen the video and I loved it. So I was just like, Jason Kent was on here, who's Dr. our doctor, Kent. Dr. Kent. And so we were talking and like I made it a little bit longer, the segment. 
so that I could build. Yeah, you were and, like, and I Seth have a just, mole for you to look at. <laughs> Seth was gone for such a long, long time. And I'm just like, and then, and then Ted Sperling is like, why is James only? It was really nice, but like, why is James the only one here? Talking? You know, we, we should have found the one woman because I walked in off camera and I gave James a thumbs oh, up. Right. So basically, Ricky called and he said, he said, while, while, uh, the inauguration is showing on network television. There's going to be commercials, but on the streaming channels, you're not going to be any commercials. We need to fill the time. Um, this with, is all what he told you yeah. while I was on. He right. said, we need to fill the time with Broadway song. Well, what, what would you think of to fill that time? And I already thought of it a month before. And I said, Oh, Aquarius and to let the sunshine in. And he's like, Oh, that's interesting. I um, was like, okay. Um, basically like, yeah, let's, it was sort of like the go ahead in his own version of a, a go ahead. Yeah. So I came back up to him and I said, I think we're going to do this. That was Wednesday night. And now, is there any video more about is I don't this all think related? So, Maybe because tired? the next one's Saturday, so we should bring on our director. Okay, so the next thing we did was we contacted our director, who we did um, Free to Be You and Me, Sisters, Sisters and, Brothers, and Brothers, and Georgia. And before that, which is, which which is, believe it or not, we just I just realized, because I feel like she's like one of my closest friends <laughs> that we literally have not met in person. I've Seth's known her, known her like for years. 25 years, never met her, and yet like because best Shelly, Because Shelly directed Blythe Spirit with Leslie Uggams and filled in for her when her Wi-Fi went out, da-da-da. So anyway, so let's bring on Shelly right Shelley now. Shelly Williams. Williams. Hey. Hi, Shelly. Oh, my gosh. That's a whole part of the story that I didn't even know. So watching that, I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was crazy, girl. Oh, so, we, so we called you like that night and we're like, we think we're going to do the inauguration. And, you know, of course you you said yes, because you say yes to everything. But then talk about when I was like, how about doing Kumbaya? Talk about <laughs> what <laughs> what you felt. <laughs> so, so you said, how about Aquarius into Let the Sunshine In? And I was like, Let the Sunshine In feels super right. But when the moon is in the seventh like i was just like it feels so hippy dippy in the light of what we have just experienced in this country i'm like how do we get people to say these lyrics and it mean anything and i i was like i don't know i i don't know how because all we do for a living is tell stories so if we're not telling a story and we're not talking about something that is incredibly relevant then I don't know why we would do it. So it, it was really like, you know, like really tugging at my heart. And we probably went through, I mean, we went through the Broadway canon, right? We, we thought about how many different songs we could think of. And it, it, in the process of that, you were going back and forth with them with like all of our options that were getting I mean, like, they were getting nicks. Like some of them were too to slow. Broadway. It had to be Broadway. It had to be well known, but it couldn't be too slow and boring. And then, we had some that just were really positive, but there was an undercurrent of like, let's storm the Capitol. I don't know. It was sort of like, there was like a the nervousness. We're like, can't well, do that. And now, Shelly, it's sort of like, because when we talked about it, I mean, when we first got the call, it was a week before the insurrection. Insurrection mm -hmm. happens literally a week later. Exactly a week after that, we got the phone call. Yeah. And now it's eight days after that. Everything, it just, at that time, especially one week after, it was so, so raw. dark. Yeah, it was really dark. Yeah. And so, so Shelly was like, I don't know, it seems. And I was like, well, maybe Shelly's exaggerating. So I'm like, let me call Vanessa Williams. I'm like, let me get her take on it. And she was sort of like, exact same yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I was like, oh, because you, know, you never know if it's one person's opinion. I was like, wow, Vanessa feels that way too. So, so we I'm were like, like okay, I don't know what we're going to do. So, listen. so we, yeah, so we kept, we kept brainstorming, brainstorming, brainstorming. So now it's finally, no joke, Friday. <laughs> Which we couldn't believe that, that it was already Friday. Oh it was my gosh. Friday. And Shelly and I kept hashing it out with James. So Friday and here I'm meanwhile panicked that that it's like they're going to just say, OK, you're taking too long and that's it. But you know. well, they hadn't really committed either. It was this weird push pull. So Friday morning, they text, they emailed and they said, well, what do you think about they go, if you could do seasons of love or let the sunshine in, which one would you choose? So I called Shelly and I said, well, which one do you like? And Shelly said, well, which one is a more more of a call to action? And I said, well, let the sunshine in because it's a verb like let the sunshine in. I said, but Seasons of Love really kind of represents, as you said, what we've been through, the kind of being with your family and love is important. And we've been in this COVID shutdown. So both Shelly and I were like, both are good. And then suddenly Shelly and I were like, wait a minute. What if they, huh? It was this crazy yeah. moment where it just hit us both at the same time. Yeah. And that's when we knew that it was, that was the right, that's the story we wanted to tell. Yeah. We wanted to tell the story about what we have just been through in this last year and seasons of love. I mean, whew, 
I mean, that song for me, you know, because like Rent is in my bones, it was my Broadway debut. That song will always re represent to me, you know, going through the AIDS crisis mm. and saying goodbye to someone that you love and someone knowing that they have, they're living on borrowed time. And how do I live this last year of my life? And I feel like that's what we have been going through in this last year, saying goodbye to so many people that we love and, and really kind of facing our own mortality. Um, and then we are, we're sitting at the nexus of this moment where we do believe that there is such hope and such opportunity and we have struggled and fought and really faced who we are as a nation and where are we going to go from here? And so there was this beautiful moment of how do we honor where we are and look forward to where we're going. And that is an exciting story to tell. And for us, Let the Sunshine In was particularly, that for me, that was really important because we had ended every concert for America with Let the Sunshine In because that was our hope and dream. And it was our call to action to not, to not lose sight of the hope and not to give up. Yeah. And so for us, it was resonant. Like I, I wanted for myself, that uh, that sort of uh, not resolution bookend, yeah, bookend or resolution. Because our concert for America, if you don't know, is a concert we did on inauguration day four years ago to help Sierra Club, NAACP, National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, National Immigration Law Center, and Southern Poverty Law Center. Right. It was on inauguration day, so this would be four years later doing that song. So, but James and I were like, it's so um, poetic, justice, whatever it is, to do it again. Right. But sitar, you know, you can't get away with those lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> And then Shelly had a point because, of course, you know, um, seasons of um, la, uh, 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 and that's how the song ends in Rent. So when we both were like, we don't really want to end our video with like a robot, bong, 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 bong. <laughs> and then we were like, good luck, everybody. Like, yeah. that felt <laughs> it was just crazy when because we were we were going back and forth where we should have the split, and we realized it was um, life of friends. And then yeah. the same key, it was crazy. So I wrote Ricky and Glenn. We said, how about we do both and we combine them? Glenn is Ricky's partner. And they both wrote back. They're like, such a fresh take. And it was so great because they had never really been enthused up until that point fully. And suddenly, yeah. that's what Shelly – and it's such a great message to artists. And Shelly and I were talking that, like, about that. I'm always like – if. If I have to rethink anything, I'm traumatized and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, forget it. Like, I don't want to do any, like every novel that, I've written. That's where I come in. It's like, it's okay, Seth. Literally. It's work out. Anytime I've written a novel and I get editor notes, I'm like, forget it. I just, just throw it out. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Immediately. And, yeah. And it was so great to know, oh, wow, you can find it. And Shelly was like, oh, there's always an artistic answer. Like, you were so at peace about it. Well, the one thing that I knew, and, you know, I said this to you before, I was like, I don't know how to tell that other story. And if I don't know how to tell it, I, I can't do it. And I think that one of the things, and I, you know, we do so many events and costume, you know, concerts in our, in our business. And, and, you know, and to me, like we have, we have been blessed with such an incredible gift, right? Like we are storytellers and there's tons of singers and there's tons of dancers but like what we do so uniquely well is tell a story. And so if we fail that mission, which is I think like what our God's gift is, then we kind of are not shining as brightly as we can. I, it, it's like going to you know, a chef's house and they make you like a grilled cheese sandwich and you're like, it's a good grilled cheese sandwich, but I was hoping for beef bourguignon, you know, like, like so, so to me, like if you're gonna do something that's Broadway, and we're going to be standing next to like, you know, the boss or Justin Timberlake or all these other people. What makes us stand out is is doing what we do to the best of our abilities, the way that we shine as storytellers. So once we met that mission, once we knew the story we wanted to tell, everything else was great. Like everything else happened in eight hours, right? Like basically. <laughs> you know, it's so interesting yeah. because I was trying to weigh the opposite where I'm just like, Seth, stop trying to go for perfection. Because I knew it wasn't perfect Aquarius at the Sunshine Inn, but I'm like, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be good enough. So I was trying to do that healthy version of like, not everything has to be at the highest level. It's really hard to balance. Like, you know, like which one is the one to follow? Like it doesn't have to be perfect or you find the best version. I just couldn't figure out which one. But and, and while this well, was- you. Okay. Okay. James, go ahead. Well, I was no, just going to say, meanwhile, while this was going on between Wednesday after Wednesday night to Friday afternoon, it was like, okay, the inauguration's on the 20th. 
who's going to be in it. And so I had started, of course, what I went to was like, who did what the world needs to know is love or George on my mind or like, the DNC or, or the DNC, like who are the most immediate people. And so just starting to make a list and starting to like ask people, even though we didn't really know a, if they would be approved because everyone had to be vetted, meaning approved by the Biden Harris team. And people were asking what that means. Not like they were going to appear at the inauguration, but they couldn't be in a video and somehow have a crazy history of terrorism. Like, you know, you don't know. We can't go, oh, they're all fine. They have to literally vet every person because you don't know. So they had to be legitimately vetted each person. Right. right? And so and so we had we had did a list and I was just going ahead and, and asking some people and then Seth did a really comprehensive list and, and you emailed it in the in like not knowing. And then they sent us a list that was like maybe 20% of the people on it that people have been vetted. They're like, here you go. And then we'd get an email that had three people approved and two people approved. And meanwhile, they're saying, okay, if everyone's not, if they're not vetted um, by Thursday, by Tuesday, the day before the inauguration by 5 PM, that you'll have to replace them. But the video was due Tuesday. So it's like, when are they going to be replaced? So we just all worked. We just all kept going forward as if everything was going to work out. Cause what else could you do? Right. Shelly. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you know, you think if you're going to say to people like you're going to be vetted that they would like gracefully bow out, you know, it's like, mm, actually, I'm busy. Like, so you're kind of hoping that if you're putting yourself on the list and you know you're being vetted, you're going to go through. And we just kind of went on. We had to go forward. Now it's, you know, Saturday. When did you you send out the email on Saturday afternoon? Well, the, right? we have the actual. Um, Oh, do you, did you print out Nancy's name? Oh, hold on. Well, James, oh, oh, James can come on. So, hey, David. Oh, hey, get there. He, da James Monroe Eigelhart is available from 9.15 to 9.35. So, so um, please send him. David, the, and David, can you invite. cut, can you cut his, do me a favor. And David, go into the audio. This is, by the way, how we, how we did the whole, yeah. the last week was like yeah. this. David, go into the audio Dropbox and give me all the James options because he sent he sent three different options of his solo, and they get crazier and crazier. So please send. Back. Do you have the Nancy questions? Um, I do. Well, but we okay. got we have Sorry. we're already way behind. Yeah, but, well, I see I Daphne know. Rubin Vega. I see Beth Malone and we her got, wife We got to bring on Jabari and Shelby to talk about how we edited. We got to bring Jabari and Shelby on. So, but Seth, do you want to do? I feel like. Yeah, well, um, I feel like we should show a little bit of the sisters and brothers. Yeah, so this is what Shelly and I worked on, although we were all separate. You really work with Michael McElroy on mm -hmm. Sisters and Brothers. And I didn't work with Shelby on this. This is all Shelly. Well, actually, Shel did Shelby, Shelby, no. did you work on Sisters and Brothers? Yes, you did. This is me going, no. I know. <laughs> oh, but not with me. Yes. Why? I'm so sorry. Let's okay, so on. Shelby, if you don't know, yeah, I'll just give a background story. Shelby made this video about the world needs to have his love with all these musicians from Berkeley. And it was posted everywhere. And I was like, wow, she's so good. So when we had to make a video for Les Mis, we had the original cast of Les Mis, and we did a heart full of love. And then we did James and Terrence Mann doing a hilarious version of the confrontation. I contacted Shelby and she made this video. And since then, we've sort of just been calling on her to help out. So when we did our Free to Be You and Me with Marlo Thomas, we called on Shelby. So here she is. She's a, she literally doesn't have to go to Juilliard, but she does videos also. Hi, Shelby. Hi. Hello. Hey, Shelby. <laughs> so how did you guys work? On sis did you work together on Sisters and Brothers? I have no memory of this. That yeah, was so I, yes, yeah. I did all the video editing for that um with Michael. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. wow. Okay, so this is this, this is the first time that I guess this all happened together. This is the this the song that we did. And by the way, if you buy this, the money still goes to NAACP Legal Defense Fund. And it's on the BIV um YouTube channel, the mm -hmm. Broadway Inspirational Voices YouTube channel. So this is Shelly. It's like the end, right? Yeah, it's very end because it's very reminiscent. We thought of "Let the Sunshine In." It was sort of tip of the hat to what was then done later. So take a gander.
Yeah. So good. It was so <laughs> good. good. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> so for this, so what happened was, um, the the way this is put together, I just want to have this one in front of me because I feel like they're all related. Where the Nancy? Where's the Nancy? Sure, was? right here. Oh, you, I I printed it. Oh, printed. Uh, um, wait, finish. Beth Malone is waiting to sound check. Beth, are you here yet? Oh, there's Beth. Okay, so okay, <laughs> you so, go ahead. I think so. Basically, going. we everyone we sent this email. It wasn't until Saturday night that we finally sent the email saying, "Here's what you have to sing." Everyone, we we got a list of everyone who was going to perform, and then I looked at Seasons of Love, which is a unison song with tons of people singing it, and I divided it into these little tiny solos. I mean, like, in inches. Like, that's literally <laughs> a solo. But, you know, it was a spinning headache, and it's not really in anyone's key. It's a little too high for women, and it's a little too low for men. Right? Like, it's in inches. Like, it's just hard, right? <laughs> it hard, but when a thousand people are singing, you all sound oh, fine together. You know what? Yeah, yeah. go ahead, Seth. So you all sound fine together. So so basically, I divided every minutia person up, and James and I sent out a comprehensive email saying, like, here's your solo in Seasons of Love. Here's I made a video of myself. Here's the harmony in Seasons of Love. Here's your harmony and let the sun shine in. And then I sent we sent everything Saturday night. So we're going to bring on one of the soloists right now because she has to go early, and then we'll talk uh, with everybody else. Speaking of rent. So speaking of rent, the original Mimi herself. Mimi! Daphne Rubin Vega. What? Here she is. Oh, my God. Hi. What's going Hi, on? Hi, everybody. Um, sorry, I had to go. I have to go. I have to feed my child. But no, um, yeah. We wanted you to talk about your experience. And did you watch it last night or did you watch it today? I did. I watched it last night when it was actually happening because you guys said, I, I thought that we weren't going to actually, it wasn't actually going to happen on TV. It was going to stream. Um, but of course, my husband's watching MSNBC. And then I saw, you know, the thing and I saw Kerry Washington sort of introduce it. I was like, oh, 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 this could be it. You know, and of course, my teenage son who I have to feed, you know, it's just like, Hands <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, fighters, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I actually made it on because remember we were doing it so quickly, and of course it's not just one thing; it's ten things that need to come in, and I'm upstate and I've got bad Wi-Fi, so I know that I called you like seven times to walk me through it. So thank you, thank you Everyone. all for walking me through that. We thank all the artists because if I get an email like that with so many, and then Shelly had all the subtextual direction first verse, your internal, second verse, your eyes light up. I mean, up. it was great, okay. it was so specific, it was so helpful, but it was like overwhelming. But, but it's not like being in the same room, it, all that's together. what's so hard. We're not in the same it's room, it's so weird out of context and like coming in and like, wait, am I singing this whole song? Or like, mm. and then for me, you know, I. I'm extremely privileged. It's like, I'm not going to sing. I'm going to sing what I'm going to sing you know? <laughs> when it comes to seasons of love. But um, uh, I think I, I remember it. It's in my DNA now. It's been embedded into my um, my my strand. So, um, Did you guys ever do the yeah. show together, Shelly and Daphne? You, I, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, Back in the uh, the day. first workshop, the first workshop. Remember, I wasn't there for the work. I wasn't no. there for the work workshop. But Shelly you worked. You worked in the. You worked in actual theater first, the right, Shelly? I came in. I did the first national tour, and then I came into Broadway right after that, and was the dance supervisor. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cast of thousands. So, so wait, Dad. Before you go, I just want to show your amazing. It's making it your own because. On Broadway, everybody clapped, you know, um, it's uh -huh. time now to sing out. So we're like, everyone should clap. Definitely, which you did eight times a week, but you literally were like, sorry, I'm not going to clap. I'm going to add my own sassy forward snaps. And I'm obsessed <laughs> with them. Let's, yes. I guess really? I just, they're so great. It's time now. It's time now. I'm a, 
I'm a snapper, man. I am a snapper. And speaking of, you know, like uh, homage to, to, to love and right. light and inauguration. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah. These nails are going to cook right about now. It's so good uh, to see you all. Thank you, and, Daphne. Um, thank you, Daphne. You know, and, and you know, thank you guys for like pulling it together. All of y'all. Shelby, Shelly, Jerry, yeah, Jabari, Seth, thank you. you yeah, and Jabari. Yeah, Jabari. Yeah, yeah, Jabari is our yeah. editor. Jabari. Yeah, Jabari, come on. Come on. Jabari was a video editor, so Shelly was directing. Jabari was doing all the cutting, and it was horrible, like, the midnight shift to the morgue. It was all, like, 12 midnight <laughs> to 5 a.m. Because we get the video so late. You guys were up so late. All right, Daphne, go feed your kids. We're going to gab more. Thank you so much for being here. Love and peace, y'all. Bye, y'all. So, you know what? Let's, because Jabari, before we get started, let's do our medical break and then we're going to bring Jabari and Shelby and yeah. Shelly back, okay? Yeah, Jabari, I've got this waiting. mole. What do you think it is? No, we'll talk later. It's not, you're just kidding. No. All right, you'll be so, Jabari and Shelby, can you hang out a little bit longer? Of course, absolutely. Okay. All right, so we'll okay. see you so in a see minute. We're going to see bring Dr. LaPook on. And then we're going to bring, yeah, and then we're going to bring LaPook on. Bye, Shelby. We'll see you in a minute. All right. Dr. Jonathan LaPook. There are many things that I love about you guys, but individually and together. But Seth, the fact that you had the term forward snaps, like that, I don't think that that even exists as a term, but it does now. And that's when you're deconstructing stuff. It's just, of course, you know, that famous, that famous phrase forward snaps as if it exists. Ask your wife. I, it's a John, dance I, phrase. Thought, I thought it did exist. I, he said it, I guess it does now. It's a dance phrase. Oh, baby, those are side snaps. <laughs> All right, Dr. John LaPook, now let's bring us down. What's with Dr. Fauci saying, ooh, by the way, there's a new strain and maybe the vaccine won't cover it. Is that true? What's happening? Because now I'm depressed. Go. Don't be depressed. Um, first of all, let's be um, amazed. Maybe I'm amazed at the way Tony Fauci was giddy at the press conference today. He yeah. was, I know him very well. He was a different yeah. Look, he was relaxed. He was smiling. And he said, you know, quite honestly, you know, somebody asked about that. He was able to feel that he could say whatever he wanted. Let the let the truth come out and the science come out and science speak for everything without wondering about any repercussions. Now, he very specifically talked about these two, these different strains. So the strain that's coming out of the UK, that's more infectious. So it's spreading more rapidly, but the vaccine still covers it, it looks like, and it's not more deadly. But it's a reason to want to get the vaccine out quickly. The stuff coming out of uh, South Africa and perhaps Brazil is a different type of mutation, has not reached the United States yet. And and this gets a little deep science, but it's, it's less susceptible to the neutralizing antibodies that are created by either the infection or the vaccine. Right. However, he said that there's a cushion. That was the term he used. There's a cushion so that even though it's less effective, it still should be fine right now. Now, you know, we know that things can change. It's not just antibodies, by the way. It's also T cells and helper B cells and all this other stuff. But they're keeping an eye on it. It's a really good reason for us to up the flame and just make sure we get the vaccine out quickly. But um, I, I will tell you, you know, this this Biden plan, it's not, it ain't brain surgery, right? I mean, it was stuff that's very, very obvious. They're giving $20 billion to this to, for vaccine, you know, to get the vaccines out there because, of course, the feds were saying, well, we, we delivered to 14,000 sites and then we have, we've given them all this vaccine, but they're not getting into people's arms. And the states are saying, hey, we don't have the resources to do that. You can't just, you know, we, we need money. So they're getting billions for that. 50 billion for testing, 130 billion for schools to retrofit and to try to, you know, increase ventilation and do all the things they need. They're going to be training contact tracers. I mean, they, they've got a federal plan and this whole thing always needed to have a heavier federal imprint. Of course, they're going to call audibles on the local level, but it should, it, you know, there's got to be a better handoff between the federal government and the states. You might have heard me give this analogy in the 4x400 relay race. Where is the race lost? It's always in the handoff of the baton. Mm. And the baton's getting dropped in the delivery of the vaccine from the feds to places and then getting it from those places into people's arms. So I'm actually, I'm up. I'm up right now. I mean, okay. it's, it's 
it's not a happy time right now. There's a lot to, you know, a lot that we have to do, but we've got very serious people who are saying we want to be transparent. And guess what? There's also going to be guys, there's going to be a national database that are going to, they're going to be posted for the public to see. And you're going to be able to follow what they're saying that I hope it happens where the vaccine is, where it's being done efficiently, where it's not being done efficiently. And the CDC has a website now where they're keeping track on a state by state basis what percentage of the vaccines that are delivered actually get into people's arms. Wow. I'll give you a showbiz analogy, Dr. LaPook. When Hello Dolly was out of town, it got horrific, horrific reviews. And Garrett Champion said, we have nine weeks until we get to Broadway. Every week, we're going to make one major change. And when it finally got to Broadway, it was amazing. That's what it sounds like. We have a leader now that's like, here's what we're going to do to change things. So that cheered me up what you just said when I turned it into a showbiz story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not quite everything's coming up roses, but it's, yeah, you know. Little lamb? Okay, get back to me. Thank you, Dr. LaPook. See you tomorrow. See Natasha tomorrow. laughed. Thank Bye. you for my reference. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Natasha, for getting my joke. <laughs> Such an inside gypsy joke. All right, joke. let's bring okay. on Shelly and Jabari. Yeah, we got to talk about the editing. Yes, we do. We will talking. now. And Shelby, hi. So yeah. I'll, give the, I'll give the overview that I want you guys to talk about. So basically, everyone sends in these video. The, the way Shelly likes to do is everyone audio tapes themselves singing their solo. Then they lip sync their videotape solo because Shelly thinks that people don't want to look crazy as they're hitting the high note. So they may be like, you know, wait, that she died. But then when they lip sync it, they're just like, Duh. it's like they look normal. So it's sort of a way that they can just sort of act and not be nervous about their strain. So everyone sent in these separate things. So in terms of like, let's say, let's say me and Shelby, uh, Shelby and I worked in the Georgia video together. And we had a system where basically like she has a giant, Juilliard computer. By the way, what is your major at Juilliard? Computers? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm studying classical composition at Juilliard right now. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so she literally has the computer. She can mix everything. And we. And would... yet, by the way, does not have great Wi-Fi. She cannot. Be I know. Thank Couldn't goodness. Be more her... for... Thank goodness, it was better. It was much better for her for the song. You're That's a little right delayed on the like Wi-Fi, it's but okay. it's all good. Oh, I'm so, so... sorry. That's it's, okay. Who cares? Please. So the point is, people would send a million takes, and Shelby and I would go through to find um, the best takes. So I thought I would give one example of one of my favorite things that we did. Let's see if I can make sure it makes this so all many make sense. I know. I think I can make. Well, I thought we would go. I thought we were going to show a little bit of Georgia now, or sure, sure, sure. sure, sure. That, 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 came, came, that came first. Video. That was all of us. That was me. That was so that was Shelley, me, James, Jabari. Now we got Jabari through our friend Audra. Maybe you've heard of her. Drop, no, talk about dropping the name. <laughs> I didn't keep the last name, Audra Smith. <laughs> Jabari, Jeez. how did how I did, wanted, yeah, how did you yeah, how, how did Audra hear McDonald you? find you? Or did you find her? How did you're that happen? You're muted. You're so muted, whatever, Jabari. Yeah. For a video expert, you're busted. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. I won't say who, but someone else muted me. But no, um, oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. He's great. But no, seriously. Um it's funny because I, I would just, just not to, you know, go all over the place, but I would say that black women have always been like the, the reason I think for my success in one way or another, um, or any, I want to say success, but like just any great thing that's happened in my life. Um, but Audra found me through a friend of mine, um, who attended family with me. Uh, she's an editor in LA. Uh, her name is Asia Horn and Asia, uh, was actually kind of busy working on a top secret project. Um, he was uh, one of the lead editors on that. And so age has been like a mentor to me over the past. I want to say like, actually pretty much this, the entire year of 2020, um, just trying to help me elevate um, because I've been editing for a while since uh, I was in college, but I, I was really ready to take it to the next level. And she, you know, was talking to me through some things. Anyway, this project came, she couldn't do it. Um, she said, Hey, so there's this project. Um, with someone named Audrey McDonald, uh, Shelly Williams, and LaShawns. It was something, something earlier in 2020. She said, do you know who they are? I said, what? What do you mean, do I know who they are? She's like, yeah, I mean, like, do you, you know, because uh, she, she's like, she, Asia, she knows, like, you know, names and all that stuff, but she's not like a big theater person. Uh, I grew up doing theater, like, my, I like since I was like 11 years old. So <laughs> I was like, these are names that are like, household names to me um <laughs> so it's like yeah but that that didn't happen so later in the year the georgia on my mind thing came up and uh -huh. again i was available um asia wasn't um she connected connected us and from there 
something great happened. Yes, Shelly, wow. why, why do you, you work with video editors? Why, why do you like working with Jabari? Jabari's musical. And there's a lot of editors who like know how to cut and who have like great ideas, but it's always like at the wrong moment. You're like, why, why did it move there? Like, it's just so, it's so <laughs> annoying. And, and, a not, and a lot of editors really, really hate the way that I, I really do like for people to, as you said, film their vocal second, film their vocal secret than their, than their video. Um, Cause I just think that when people are like, nah, it just, it, you lose the storytelling. And again, to me, it's all about like, how do we look like humans telling a story, especially in a, a song like this and something like Georgia, where the whole point of it was just a love letter to the people who had, who had worked so hard. And once again, we were asking them to go to the polls and, and stand up for, for all of us, you know, use their, you know, push through voter suppression and make their voices heard. And so it, it it needed more than this, you know, it really needed sincerity and it, people needed to be people and not singers. And to do that, we have to, you know, do the vocals separate. And so in this same one, you know, for singing something like Seasons of Love, we really just needed to see faces. We really needed to see hearts. We needed to see eyes and and separate, you know, what we do specifically and, and really connect all of that to the to the story we want to tell. So that makes it very difficult for someone like Jabari, who then has to sync up the vocals to the lip sync, especially if they're a little bit off by a frame. Hey, Allah. <laughs> and becomes like a surgeon. And like, you know, we're like, oh, it's slightly off. And he literally like fixes frame by frame wow. every single video. It's so tedious and so worth it. I'm going to show the beginning of Georgia. And by the way, my sister asked, do people just sing their solos or the whole phrase? And actually in Seasons of Love, they really just sing their solos. But in Georgia, Shelly said, please sing the full eight bars. And thank God she did because George, Georgia was supposed to be Billy Porter. But then when we heard Danielle Brooks do it, we right, actually moved right. Danielle Brooks to the beginning and Billy later. So we'll show you a little bit of that. So this is Shelby and I edited this together. And then Shelly and Jabari um, did the video. And let's watch this. No, that's for later. Hold on, hold on. That's 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 Natasha, which I'm going to show. This is what I want to show. Georgia, Georgia, the whole. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia on my mind. I said Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts of that. <laughs> and by the way, her nose was supposed to be B flat. Georgia, she had a B. Georgia. Yes, Leslie. <laughs> so that actually felt so rushed to put together, but little did we know that only a matter of weeks later. <laughs> that was yeah. like five days. That was luxurious. Like that comparatively. Yeah. Like, Hilarious. But yeah. looking back, since all five of us worked on Georgia. It, it actually prepared us to be able to do it on a faster time schedule, don't you think? Yes, oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Jabari, yeah, 
I felt bad for you guys because we basically gave everyone the <laughs> limit. We said Sunday fork, so we sent it Saturday night around nine thirty. Which, which mm. I felt like we were so nervy to like send it off to everyone. At, like I sent it at eight o'clock, which we have a video. Oh, that's the part I'm show. skipping. Like we we sent it at eight, but we sent the wrong R- wrong track. track. We literally sent just the drum part. And, and so I was so people- proud of my boat. Hold on, I was so proud of myself because it was our eight o'clock show, and I'm like, I have everything in drafts. The only thing I need to do is I need to add the track, and sure enough, um, he and sent, I sent it. it right at the top of the show, and then at the end of our so show, I began to get letters going like, "So we just have to find our pitch and just kind of record it to the percussion." I was like, "That's a weird question." So, Hold so- on, show Jose a lot of laughing. <laughs> I think it was Jose who Jose, did it first. You were the one who. <laughs> Jose was so nice. Like I was totally just like listening. I listened because I was like, "I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like that." Like. I'm gonna be Asian and do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. And then, <laughs> and I listen to the truck. I'm like, shh, 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 shh. I'm like, ooh, okay. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. It's a lot. Harder. <laughs> you were so nice asking. You're like, so okay. Wait, we're gonna bring it back. And Hold then we on. were mortified. We're like, oh my gosh. I was so proud that we had we had gotten it together to give them a full 22 hours or 20. And they're like, oh my gosh. We actually are giving them now two hours less. And then we said, but it has to be by Sunday at four. So the point is by the time almost everything, or at least a lot got in, it was late Sunday night. So Shelly and Jabari, how did you decide to be college students and pull an all-nighter? You just knew you are going to be editing at night and you're okay with it? You're not taking, like, you're not yeah, Jabari, what was the deal? <laughs> well, I mean, um, well, let me just really start by saying, like, um, as an editor who also um, is trying, I'm working to become a director as well. I do some smaller, like, commercial stuff here in Atlanta, but I really, you know, Directing is essentially the ultimate goal. Working with a director like Shelly was also like a masterclass for me as far as like working with what it's like to work with an editor. You know what I mean? Because she really, I love the fact that when when Shelly knows what she needs or wants, she's gonna like, she makes, she takes the time to like figure that out. And as an editor, you have to be patient with the director so, so they can figure out what the, like what what needs to be had to make sure the vision is complete. And I think that in the past, I'm not sure when, but there's been some times I'm sure where I would probably rush through something myself because I'm the, the director or something and the editor. But um, working with Shelly, I would definitely say, um, really taught me to become more patient. And I love that. Oh, sorry. I wiped my eye, but I had lotion in my, my finger. So my eyes were but um <laughs> no seriously though but um um in reference to the video um shelly and i kept just kind of like talking or texting every day since i think it was like the week like right before when she said hey this might happen so be on standby so i made sure i had no more projects to do because mm-hmm. again like i'm you know growing up in theater and like even though i'm not like a, a, a thespian so to speak now i'm still like i love the theater <laughs> you know what i mean i can't even really <laughs> Like put it into words, so it's like you know, anytime that something like this will come come across, come across my desk, so I'm in. Um, yeah. And yeah, so you know, Shelly said, "Hey, you know, these things are going to come in. Uh, so you know, download these these videos on Sunday. Let's talk. We talked. I got the footage. She told me what she was looking to do. I told her what I what I can what I can do in that time frame. I got what what needed to be done by set by Monday morning." And then I didn't realize that some more footage, um, footage came in after, which I, which was cool. But I, you know, when you don't, when like when I didn't, that was my fault for not going back to check right away. I was like, oh, okay, so there's more. So I went go back and grab more. But it's cool because it also get, allowed me to like really build other things that I knew Shelly would probably be interested in because of what we did on Georgia on my mind. And then go in and plug plug those extra things in. I can't believe how hard you guys work. Okay, hold on. Before we say any more, I got to bring on BD and Beth Malone. BD has to leave early and Beth Malone has donations, which is the whole point of the show. Oh, my show. gosh. I'm, so, Beth, amazing. Beth Malone, let's first have oh, your donations from Colorado. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Hey. Oh, I'm going to read donations. Hang on a second. I have to find them. Okay, here. Are you ready? Yes. yes, ma'am. David from South Jersey, 50 bucks. Thank you for the surprise last night. This is in honor of Seth and James for making this time more bearable during this pandemic <laughs> from Ohio. Yeah, it's for real. $15. And that is all she wrote. Oh. Rob from Pennsylvania, $50. I thought it was all cried out yesterday. Then you dropped this onto my lap. Love you all. Mark from Massachusetts, $103. Here's my weekly contribution. 
I will never forget your contribution to improving our humanity and providing us all with hope, love, and justice. Now I'm gonna cry. I'm like done crying. That's beautiful. Done she's one out of my <laughs> Bethy, we're gonna bring you back. I want to bring. Oh hi! Oh, I thought you guys were in different locations. No, oh, I didn't no, tell you. Okay, we're gonna bring you back. Hold, okay. please. Everyone, hold. The, the show's already run like 30 minutes longer. We don't but care. Whenever we love it's it. a celebration. Yes. <laughs> BD, we're gonna talk to you. BD. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. Hey, everybody. Hey, man. Hi, Hi, you guys. Gosh, you guys did such a nice thing, all of you. You did such a Thank wonderful you. job. It's such a nice pleasure to work with you, even in this remote, weird way. It was so wonderful oh, sure. that you agreed to be a part of it. It was just so beautiful to see you up there. Well, don't tell the fellas, but I will never say no. <laughs> I love that. Two, th two things we have to talk about. BD sent us into a s spiraling panic. Oh my gosh. Because he posted like, hey, um, like, I oh. can't say much about this, but we're going to be on doing a Broadway number on CNN. Okay, so hold, hold up. So backtrack a little bit. Sure. So everyone, all right. we were all sworn to secrecy. Crazy secrecy. Yes. And so even though Garth Brooks and all these amazing stars were announced ahead of time, we were told not to do anything. And it's like, you know, come on, it's the Biden team and we're, we're, we're all... We're all good Americans. We're going to do what we're told by our, our soon to be president and vice president. So it's we're like, anybody. okay. So we're like, no, we're not going to tell anyone. And it, it, and we were told not to post anything. So we we did our best to respect that. And then a, friend, saw of this. Mine, a friend of mine from Georgia said, "You're. It's. I don't know if you're doing this, but I have a feeling you're behind this, James. <laughs> and I'm like, what? On CNN? I said, and I was really coy. And I said, where did you see this? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, it's on CNN about every two minutes. Broadway stars, stars perform Seasons of Love. And I'm like, okay, yes. I think you'll be in for a surprise. I'm like, I'm still being coy. I've known her since I was 11 years old. Like, I'm still being coy with her. I think you'll be in for a nice surprise if you watch between 8.30 and 9.30. And by the way, I'm on my Sirius XM radio show going, hey, everyone should watch the inauguration tonight. It's probably going to be entertaining. <laughs> like, I literally wouldn't even say there's going to be Broadway on it. I was so vague and crazy. And then BD sent me this text, and I'm because, like... Because uh, BD posted, I'm going to be on CNN, can't say anymore. And his friend writes, I already saw it. You were great. Yes, exactly. So he's, like, yeah. he's like, did I miss it? So BD, what happened then? Because we were in a full panic. Yes. Okay. So, well, then I texted you guys right away and I said, wait a second, did I miss it? Because I, you know, I can only watch so many channels at a time and there's only, you know, I don't know. What, and there was a whole, like, it was like, I didn't understand like why it would be CNN and not others. It was explained to me later, but, but you know, that, so, so then I went back to her. This is Sharon Siskin Bologna from high school. We didn't want to out oh, her. We weren't going to out yeah. her, but since no, you know her since no. high school. Okay. She was talking about Georgia. She thought she doesn't know the difference between seasons and love in Georgia on my mind. She she saw Broadway stars perform. She said, "Oh, I saw that. That was great," but I didn't know she meant that until I pressed her. She literally meant M Butterfly. Uh, She's so behind the times. <laughs> you were great in that. <laughs> we're texting, exactly. calling. We're like, like, it aired already. We're like, oh my yeah. god! And I'm literally, I'm literally texting the person who's in D.C. Like, and I'm yeah. like. Did we already win her? What's the plan? Like, and she was so confident. Saw it, you were great. Like, That's right. Did you see it? Did you see it in my in my feed? Yes. 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 Okay, good. So I, 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 I'm, I'm glad that you didn't think I was like making it no, up. No, I saw it. And then I, regardless, my point is this. I want to show BD because I know you have to go. But I, BD, your choice was so hilarious for Seasons of Love because it Shelly, was. What did you, I want to ask Shelly. So what did you think when you saw all yeah. the pieces that BD yeah. Wall gave you as a director? Oh my gosh, my favorite one, and we actually moved it, but at one point you did like this move, and I was oh. like, oh my God, <laughs> you don't want to like live in your best life. Like, well, I was very thing. stressed I'm out by the whole thing. I think I was like going into like overcompensation mode or something like that. It was you so- know, I, I found the whole thing very stressful. It was know, great the time, energy though. The time commitment, I mean the time- The time constraint. The time yeah, oh and God. your video was very stressful to me. He was so good. Stress <laughs> You were, video. you were sort of doing like magical group because you were like seasons of law. Ha, 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 ha. Like I yeah. was so. Well, I want to show everybody this choice. No, 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 no. This is okay, awesome. Now, now I'm showing it. Of 
it's so great. It's so awesome. Well, it was and, the energy for me. It wasn't until I saw everyone Definitely. else that I thought, oh, wonderful. Wonderful. It's so honest so and great. And it was and beautiful. beautiful. And I love the like, energy. Can't make it up. Like, uh, like no, was, I like, loved it. I loved uh, it too much. I, I don't know. I, I just yeah. wanted to be in it, you know. I just wanted to be noticed or something. I guess you're outvoted, BD. We all love it. We love the charm. Definitely you're funny. funny. It's it, we love it. It is uh absolutely. Oh, so listen, he, I, I made the choice. I loved it. That's the okay. reason why I chose it. Yeah. I loved yeah. it so much because we had we had you in another moment, and you were like doing this move, and it was so cute. And then I saw you, and you just look like in that moment. You look so joyful, yeah. and it just I was happy. It was a happy day and that, weekend. Yeah, that's what that take said to me is that you genuinely felt joy, and it just made me smile. And I was like, "That's the one." Yeah. We have to, wow. Jabari will tell you. I was like, "We have to move. We have to move BD here. This is his moment right mm -hmm. here." He's so happy. It was great. That was yeah. what, like two thirty in the morning or something like that. No, we were clear. Yeah. We always called it. Jabari and I were like. Oh, you did. We we always knew, you know. I don't think we to ever move on. You mean to go on to no, another thing? Yeah. We knew, like, we would say, "Hey, we're going to do this thing, and then we're going to go to bed and uh, and do, you know, approach this with clear eyes." Yes, yeah. Because I never wanted to be like, "Oh, that's a thing we did it to," you know. Yeah, like, yeah. we knew when to say when, get a good night's sleep, and start with fresh eyes. So mm -hmm. it feels that way. It feels very clean and very well thought. It's not like, um, um you know, it's not like these things can be a big mess. And they're, yeah. you know, they can be really messy. And it's, oh, it's not like that. I mean, you're dealing with so many different things. Have we talked about yeah. Charlotte yet? No, we're waiting for her. Oh, okay. Well, no. just uh, let me just tip my hat while I'm here. I just, okay. I had to say thank you very much <laughs> for that. <laughs> oh, it's so brilliant. I'm glad you liked it, man. Um, all right. B I want to. Yes, sorry, Jabari. Yes. No, I just wanted to add to something Shelly said about knowing when to basically stop for the day. One thing I also appreciated that Shelly also knew when to just take it another, take a step further. Because like there was like we'd be in the moment for something, and we were like just on the brink, and like you know, like I could tell she wanted, I could tell she wanted to keep going, but at the same time she was probably probably being mindful for me. It was I think on, I think it was either Sunday night or Monday night. It was like we we but we pushed through for like another hour. And I think that's again another thing that like was that that's great about her as a director is like knowing when to say knowing when to quit essentially and knowing when to say we're almost there let's just take it a step uh, further. And for me as a person like 2021, my biggest thing is discipline, uh, making sure that I maintain discipline as a as a filmmaker, as an editor, um, as an artist in general, um, and stuff like that like definitely helps a lot for sure. Shelly, it's a fan. Oh, <laughs> All right, BD, you're a regular in Stars in the House. You'll come back for a game night. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, you guys, everybody. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you, Bye, BD. BD. Okay, I have to go back to the Shelby editing that I was trying to do before, and then I'm going to bring everybody on. Yeah. So, the, so where, Shelby, where Shelby's brilliant, the thing that we were the most overwhelmed by was that we just told people to riff. And they sent these long riffs, let the sun shine in. So, Shelby, what was the first problem? Talk about the tonality about the, the lack of the uh, accompaniment. Yeah, so we just had tracks of people riffing, but we didn't know where they intended for those riffs to take place because there was no background track. So it was just, we are just singing from these incredible Broadway stars, but we didn't know where yeah. it went. So we had to do like a bit of surgery to kind of figure out how to place it in in the places where it, it was meant to go essentially that's where, that's where i was like you know what seth <laughs> you you and shelby bye-bye i'll be in the background listening i'm gonna do other work on the song he washed his hands so oh. shelby was amazing we just like it was one of those things where I, I don't know i feel like i have a big test and i'm like okay i'm just gonna start studying so i'm like shelby let's do it so we were going through each one and the really fun thing was i'm gonna play you an example so Keala gave us all these different riffs and one of them ended with this really sassy F, which is this. Here it is. Come on and let it in. Yay! So we're like, that's kind of a fun ending. The yay! So Shelby and I are listening, and then we start to hear this. Yay! And Shelby and I are like, which one should we use? The F or the A flat? And then we're both like, 
what if we put them together? Nonsense means Shelly with Seasons of Love and the Sunshine in. Like, what if we put them together? So literally, the very end of the song, I have it here, we have Keala is doubling herself. She's singing the F and the A flat. And Shelby said, it. she's like, it'll work. So here, let me just play a little bit of it. Okay. She literally is on both effing notes. And that was the amazing of Shelby. She was so easy to work with. Shelby, are you like Jabari? Were you like, I'm freaking out because I'm listening to Kayala by herself? Like, what kind of a musical theater fan are you? Oh, my goodness. I mean, my mom is a singing teacher. So, and my sister is a performer. I grew up with Broadway being sung in my living room, essentially. Um, and so, it, it has been just the most surreal experience of my entire life working with all of you incredible people on these kinds of projects. And, you know, I, I never, ever could have dreamed this big even. And, you know, I'm a 22 year old grad student right now. And, and this is all just such a dream come true. I can't even explain it. Mm -hmm. oh, so you are incredibly talented. I mean, you are so talented and such a gamer. There was a time where we were like, hey, we need the latest mix. And Seth was like, Shelby's in class. And I was like, oh, yeah. She's <laughs> 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 actually a student. She's not our personal mixer. Like, <laughs> OK, yeah, that's right. We're like, oh, my God. Like, it was so wild. Yeah. Oh, my God. You work really Shelby. fast, though, Shelby. You work really <laughs> fast, though. That's that one thing. I was like. You were in class one minute, and the next we got an email, and I was like, "Once you just think, yeah, yeah. really thank fast, you. for sure." Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. It's just, I mean, I could not imagine ever doing anything like this. So I will say yes to absolutely everything, exactly like you said, Jabari. And I yeah. called Shelby at five o'clock Sunday, and I was yeah. like, "Are you, literally that's when we started mixing at five o'clock Sunday?" I was like, "You available?" She's like, "I guess I." And I just <laughs> sent like eight thousand effing files. I can't. All right, Shelby and Jabari, we're gonna bring on the singers now. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. We're applauding thank you. you. Thank, thank you for all your yeah, work. Oh my god. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Talk about, Talk about we could have done it without you. Yeah. Right. Truly. Truly. Listen, my pleasure. Anytime. Just let me know. Seriously. Thank you, Jabari. Right, we Jabari. love you. We love Shelby. Love you thank you so much. Go, go study, girl. <laughs> okay, now we're going to bring in all of our amazing singers that yes. are here tonight. First, we have Mr. I, I, say, what, you went I was going to say, I sing to a drum track only. <laughs> That's true. Jose Lana. Lana. <laughs> okay. He was so earnest. He wasn't like you said the wrong track. He's like, so it's just a drum track. Um, right. Then we have Miss, she put on makeup for me, she told me, Jenna Ushkowitz. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jenna. Hi, guys. Funny. Hi, Jose. Hey, Hi, Jose. Hey, how are you doing? Good, then we you? have our original, back to our original rent. Hi, Freddie. Our original Joanne. Hi, Freddie. Hi. Then How's everybody? All good. Hi. Then we have the star of the Georgia video as well, Miss Natasha Yvette Williams. Hi, Natasha. Hey, everybody. Hey. Then we have our Colorado lady. Where is she? Ms. With her wife, too. Hold on. One, two, three. The Malones. Hi, Beth Hello. Malone. Hi, Shelly. And and okay, let me first talk well, to you guys because I have so many so many clips to talk about. I did so much deconstructing and downloading. Go today. to the go to the. <laughs> private chat. Just want to make sure we're all good. Yeah, we're okay. good. Okay. Okay. So first thing we have to talk about. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. We're literally working on two different computers because, as I said at the top of the show, our main computer crashed minutes before luckily it happened after the 20th and not before so i want to just talk about i'll just show this clip so this is the beginning of Let the sunshine in um shelly and you pick these clips so we're sort of obsessed with jenna your amazing open armness where where are you filming this gorgeousness is this your house yeah so it's literally just that tiny green patch it's literally just that between two very ugly gates and it's right outside my front door. And I was like, well, this is perfect. So I had to set up the ring light outside. I didn't need the light. And then I had to set up the, the phone and the computer on just the little shelf outside. So it was a dangerous task, but well worth it. Oh, you did it yourself. You filmed it yourself. Yeah, yeah. And, and then Jose, what about you? You're in this clip too. Were you filming yourself? 
I was. This, is this the outside clip? Yes. yes. Yeah. So that that was me, uh, uh, and, and my husband was staring at me from from inside the house, and he's like, "I guess that's what you're. That's what he's like. You're doing actor stuff." I'm like, "Yeah," because like you know, he's, he's a civilian. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm doing it for. It's just." A, I'm like, you're not, like, but you're not singing. I'm like, I know. He's like, you look like a weirdo. You're like lip syncing to like a to your singing, and it doesn't sound good. It's like you're. you're I'm like, thanks, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. I'm like, I'm like, but he doesn't normally, he's because he works during the day. He doesn't see me do like when I'm putting myself on tape and stuff. He doesn't really see all that stuff. It's like behind the curtain to the civilian kind of thing. And mm. but yeah, so uh, but, but the thing is, when I got that email at 8 30 on Saturday night, I knew because we had a very busy Sunday. I was like, I got home at like 11. I was like, I've got to do this now. I got to do this now. I got I got to do this right now. So I said, I'll do the vocals now and I'll do and I'll shoot the shoot the season's video tonight. Right. And so like I I like did it. I sent you the email. It's like it's just a drum track. Um, but I was worried because I, I started filming the seasons and I, it took like an hour to do all the vocal stuff. And then I realized I'd had like three martinis at dinner. <laughs> and I totally had like my Asian flush going on. <laughs> so like I had to run. I'm like popping Pepsi to get the redness out of my face. Oh my gosh. Like, and I'm freaking out. It's like one in the morning and I'm like, I can't, I don't have time tomorrow. And I ha I've already done all the vocals, but I'm like, so like I, I went and like, I got my white husband's like, I'm like, he has like, he has like concealer. He puts on zits sometimes. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm playing on my face. Jose, I had the same problem. I was I went through on Saturday night to get that video out, but like <laughs> it happened. It happened, right? It happened. Wait, Jenna, you were drunk too? <laughs> no, but I was hungover on Sunday, having to sing literally "Let the Sunshine." Where right in the middle of my break, I was like, I was like, this is not. They're not going to use this. They can't use this. And I was hungover, and I was putting makeup on to shoot it, and my skin was so dry, so I had to rewash my face exfoliate and then do the makeup again which is why i mentioned the makeup thing but it was like i broke dry january and that's what i get for the inauguration because what you said earlier i mean this is why you guys why i mean i felt like a here's the thing like the the detailed email was so important because it's like okay i we have it was laid out exactly what we needed to do and like shelly's direction in the video shooting you know it's, it's like for the first time in months I felt like, oh, I'm being hired to do something that I can do. That like I can re I can I can sing hired, hired free. <laughs> you know what I mean? but you know what I mean? Like we've all been sitting at home. Like sometimes you're in a workshop, you're like throwing new music the day before, or you're thrown on stage with like no rehearsal. It's like, okay, we can do this. We this is what we're supposed to be able to do, right? So so let's do this. So. And then part of the short like, clip also, yours part of the short short clip, Beth. I love the taking the sunglasses off. It's such a great oh. idea. Who came up with that concept? It's so great. I was literally wearing like glasses and I was like, oh, I don't want to be wearing glasses. I never thought they would use that part. I never thought <laughs> use that part, Shelly. I was like, you know, we send everything. We're like, oh my God, bitch. okay, we'll just send it. You know, and that could have ended up in. So, but you know, it was, it was cool. I was like, oh, that's a cool little section. Who knew? Beth, I thought it was like this amazing, smart, thought-out acting choice. Me too. To tell you, I was like, I can't wear my glasses now. That's all. That, that okay, now we have to watch it knowing yeah, that. Now that we is have to watch it. wait. So Shelly, you just took people's private, private video moments and then made them upload, public. Upload. <laughs> well, that was the whole thing. Is like the you no, know the, the whole direction in the email was like just share your your humanity, and you know it was just all about. You know, what is the story you want to tell? What do you feel? How does that grow? How does that joy grow? And so I was just kind of, I watched all of your videos, all of your takes, and I was like, oh my gosh. You know, so it was the moment sometimes when people weren't performing that were the most interesting moments. And I was like, oh, you know, it just, it was, it was great. I mean, that's how the season started. Like I, I it was blank. I mean, Jabari will tell you, I didn't do that opening until four o'clock on, it was due on Tuesday at five. At four o'clock on Monday, I hadn't even done the opening and I lied to them and was like, hey, it's uploading. And I and I had written down moments that I thought were like really cute. Like Anthony started his video and he kind of like did his eyebrows. And I was like, 
oh my God, that's so Anthony. You know, I was just like, uh, and so I just caught these like little candidates that I just had on like this little piece of paper and little time codes. And I was like, the opening is just gonna be moments of humanity and I little cute moments that I'd seen of people. And so then we just literally put them together in like five minutes. Wow. But yeah. note to anyone, note to anyone sending a video to Shelly, don't put anything you don't want in a public <laughs> video true. on your video. Cause you'd be like, I, like I, I'll tell you the total opposite. I tell you what's so amazing are the videos that like start right before you sing and then cut right off. It's so hard to do something with that. It really is like the moment that you adjust and the moment that you breathe and the moment that you're like center up, like that is like sometimes the best stuff on film. Like it really is. I mean, watching you, Jose, was so fun because we did rent together. Yeah, yeah. You, put oh, me yeah. The show. you put me in the show. Oh yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, as soon as you were talking, I was like, oh my gosh, remember that New Year's Eve when we had to get escorted out because we were in Times Square, it was New like, and you had a huge party at your house. Yeah. And like, as he was talking, I'm just like, you know, seeing people who'd done rent before in the video, I was like tearing up because I remembered moments in the show with them and like seeing Freddie and Wilson and Daphne and, and, and Anthony and Renee, you know, it was just like, oh my gosh, like they were just, really vivid crystallized memories chris jackson you know there were just so many like wow you know it kind of took me back it was really cool rent alums I anyway mean, here's that here's that moment with with jenna in her little patch of green and beth <laughs> privately taking off her glasses and jose <laughs> with his husband's makeup on here we go Enjoy. Let the sun shine. Yes. Wait, speaking of which, James Wesley, please talk about that. W you know, we wanted to add Cheetah Rivera. However, James had to haul out the, the name dropping. Go. So so we haven't even talked about it. We're going to have Beth, Beth Malone talk about the, the whole vetting story in one second, Our which is why is Beth Malone's wife, Shelly, is here. Because as we said, the vetting was a big part of the process. And that, that, that's where Seth, when he was working with Shelby on the riffs, I was like doing emails back and forth and trying to coordinate being the stage manager for, for the show. Um, and, uh, and so every, they basically said, I think on Monday, the vetting is over. Please do not submit any more names. That's all. It wasn't quite please. It wasn't, it was like, they, 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 they were, were like, overwhelmed because it wasn't, it wasn't, um, the team putting the inauguration ceremony together or the concert together, it was the Biden Harris team that was vetting people. And so, and so they They're were like, like, that's, that's it. it. And when Charlotte D'Amboise is going to come on in a little, in a little bit later, when, after we saw the dance, it was sort of like, well, how can we not have Cheetah? And I didn't think, I didn't know if Cheetah was available. And then, and then I realized that she was, and I was like, how can you not? She's the, as far as I know, the only musical theater performer who's here who got the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And it's like, how can you not? And she was in six or seven or eight of our Concerts for America. It's like, how can we not on this choice day have her? And she's available. And she she's said she would do it. And she could do it. And they said no. And James had to write back and say, I don't yes. know if you know, but she's the only musical theater performer with the Presidential Medal of well, Freedom. Well, no, actually, it was first. She's an icon. She has to be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and and the person wrote back, I know who Cheetah Rivera is. So there wasn't an answer. Right. There wasn't an answer. But and then I and then I had to write and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I know this person's gonna like hate me, but I have to I have to push. Push. And so I said, you I, I don't know if you know this, but Cheetah Rivera got the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She really needs to be in it. And then they said, okay. Thank effing God that he, but, and by the way, she filmed it Tuesday afternoon at one thirty, and the video, as Shelly said, had to be in late Tuesday. And so you just saw the video with her reaching and it's so brilliant what she chose to do with the two things, which is why Shelly Williams put it in it. But there was a little bit of haze and, and I couldn't, and I was like, Oh gosh, is this going to be usable? And Shelly, when I called Shelly Williams, when I called you, what did you, 
What did you say? Her text. I don't, don't even remember. It said, is Chino, you said, is Chino Rivera's uh, video usable? And I was like, we will make it work and we will take as long as it takes to get make it work. Like, that's not an option. Of course it will. So we, how long did you take on that afternoon? A half an hour to, to brighten up the coloring on it. But I was like, we, we will, something else will be sacrificed because this will happen. And so everyone, was, take that, everyone take that in. So Shelly didn't even have, Shelly Williams did not have the opening yet because of the time crunch on Tuesday afternoon. It was due Tuesday. We also didn't know, I will say this, we also yeah. didn't know how long the opening was going to be because we didn't know how many seconds we had. We were still grappling over time. So the music wasn't exactly right yet. The cut, you know, the length wasn't quite right yet. So three minutes, 10 seconds, three minutes, 12 seconds, three minutes, 11 seconds. Right. It was one of those three. Yeah. And Shelly Williams spent 30 minutes on that precious time in the afternoon to make sure that Cheetah Rivera looked as good as possible with what we got. And then, because, and then because it was Seasons of Love, James and I are like, we have to have original cast members. And Freddie, we wrote you right away. And it was so amazing. You said, yes, Freddie, what was it like? It's so funny because you weren't in the same room, but did it feel like watching yourself in the video when you see yourself with other, when you saw yourself with Wilson? What did it feel like to see with your cast members again? We're never separated. Mm. We're always together. We, uh, we actually have a little text thread where we chat all the time and, so, you know, we're never apart. Um, yeah. But I love the text thread. But Actually, Wilson's working on my album with me. We're, we're never apart. Yeah. Oh. oh, and I love that. I'm going to show you guys. Look how sweet this is. <laughs> I know one thing I had to throw on some hair for this. That was that last minute thing. I was like, oh, no, my hair's not dead. I got to go grab some some hair out the drawer because, oof. <laughs> hey, listen, we, James Monroe Eichelhardt at the last minute said he could come on. Yeah, he's so doing another show right he's now. Literally doing, this is his break. So if everyone doesn't mind, we're going to bring James on for the few minutes that we got him because we got a couple We got a couple of things to talk about with him. Come on, James. Eichelhardt. <laughs> No. Okay, I go. So here's the deal. I wanted someone to do that high A solo. Yeah. And I started, I asked various gentlemen, and a lot of them were like, they were just like, everybody, they're tenors, but they were like, hmm, it's not happening. So I wrote to James because James is kind of a baritone, but I wrote, I said, you know, you do hit that A at the end of Friend Like Me. I said, can you sing it? And he was like, I'll try. Okay, so talk about the various options you sent. Okay, okay, so anybody who's worked with Seth knows that uh, Seth will ask you a question, and then after that question, he will ask for more. Uh, he will say, hey, can you hit that A? And if you wanna go up to you know something up higher, go right ahead. And I was like, all right, cool. Now, think about this, y'all. We all love Broadway, and we haven't been doing it. So we all been sitting. Our voices are pristine. The only time we sing another in the house or in the car or when Seth calls us up and we do some concerts, but our voices are fire. We could each make an album right now. So I was like, you know, shoot, I got notes for days. So I was, <laughs> it's an eight show a week thing. You know, don't get me wrong, I was honored, but the fuck, brother, I got notes for notes for days right now. So I just gave Seth and James like four different options, and I actually went up and I sent them. To, <laughs> I, my wife is in there going, "What are you doing?" I was like playing because I've got it right now. So I was just <laughs> literally back here just sitting and laughing. I taped myself doing riffs. I sent it to friends. I was just acting an absolute fool. I was having the time of my life. I'm going to play for people. So this is the regular riff he did, which I requested. So here's the actual riff, which sounds amazing on the A. Oh, the way that she died. Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, that's yeah. cool. So yeah. I didn't know any of this backstory about pristine voice and Seth makes you do more. So I'm like, that's funny. Oh, come he on, you <laughs> Anywho, I was like, let's hear the A again. And the next thing I know, he's hitting an effing. All the way that she died. 
Oh, the way that she died. Then, yes. I was like, there's a third one? There are no other notes. I guess there are. Oh, the way that she died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, wife, my, my, my wife was like what what are you doing i was like having a ball <laughs> we had shelly we have to do like a whole alternative video with like alternative takes like there's so much footage we couldn't use that i feel we need like a second full version i know right there's so much oh my gosh beth and Shelly, your video made me so happy. Shelly, I'm so happy you were in this video. I'm so happy with the video. I'm so happy that your puppies were in the video. I was just like, oh, oh. We it was so been, you know, everyone is saying how how they took a collective like exhale yesterday, and some people had a lot of emotions and a lot of. We, we definitely have been riding this wave of terror over the last four years. So we literally were just like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, just like, that is what we did. And that is what we feel. And that is what we like turned the camera on and we're like, just everything, just everything. Just like swear him in, swear him in. I mean, I said, yeah, I sent, you know, things with my like Biden hat and my Kamala doll. I know? saw the doll video. <laughs> and you're like, nothing political, please. But I was like, uh, I'll go get her. Hang on. Hold, please. Talk, please. Talk okay. about you should show that outtake. Beth is a whole Let the Sunshine oh In God. with the Kamala Harris doll. Oh my gosh. She's a whole version. And I was like, I can't use it. I was like, I can't. I, it said like nothing political, but it was like, it was just for me. <laughs> Beth must have been like, well, oh, you girl watch and enjoy this. And I totally did. Yeah. But you have to imagine James and my panic, and we have more stars waiting to come on. We're going to bring it in a minute. But James and my panic when he begged and begged and begged for Cheetah Rivera. That's to right. Come. So this is where we're going. Where's, where's Beth? There's Beth. So, so. You know, there's the doll that was in the video. <laughs> we had to cut that. She's saying, So I did that, that last with Cheetah, right? And they wrote me back and they said, okay, Cheetah's vetted, but now that is really it. No more names. And we're like, don't worry, there no won't more be. Names. Literally, now the inauguration is less than 24 hours, which means the concert is less than 24 hours. Like no more names. And we look, and we, we get the edit, and we see this. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> so oh fun. my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Shelly. Beth did not tell me that Shelly, her wife, was in it. I did not put her on the list. I'm like, oh my God, it's such a beautiful, beautiful moment. I am going they to have hate to, us already. I, they already hate me. They hate me. I'm going to have to write to them again. And yet I. And he was like, Shelly won the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to call Beth, and I was like, okay, because we were on a Zoom, Shelly Williams and Jabari and me, and said, and I'm like, I don't want to make this call. I love Beth. I have to make. I have to break the. I have to. I have to break the news. And and Beth, what happened when I called you? I like made a video of just myself singing, and I just felt like a jerk. And then I sent it. And I thought, oh, that's a real bummer because I thought, you know, I told Shelly, I was like, you're going to be on the inauguration with me, and it's going to be awesome. Um, and then I said, you're not. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, Beth, you're leaving out the part that you were really, you were really sweet and understanding. You were like, "Oh my gosh, I totally get it. It's okay. I'll make another video." And I said, "We're gonna do everything we can to make sure." And I, 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 I yeah, what, what did you say, Beth? Didn't even occur to me. Like, oh, 
didn't get- wait, but, but wait, it didn't occur to me because the day before I said to James, I said, hey, everyone should have their, their spouse and their children in the final video. And James is like, they're not vetted. And I was like, oh, I forgot they're not. So it didn't occur to me either. I thought it was a great idea. This is where my like, I, I'm I'm so uh, not OCD, but like detail oriented on these things. And I'm a little get, I get stressed, but those are the reasons why that it's, it pays off. And Seth is sort of like, it's all good. And I'm like, no, it isn't. Well, I'll tell you, Beth, I never, I never looked at your solo video. I was oh, like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not putting it in unless we have to. And it, I never, I, I knew it was there. And I was like, I'm not even, we never did a cut with your solo video. Cause I just loved your video so much that if I had to, I would have, but we were never going to play it safe. Thank you. I really wanted to be there with my family. You know, my, you know, I wanted to represent dykes and dogs, you know. Um, so there you have it. And um, we did. So, yay! She yeah. did it. You you were in there, lady. Great. Literally, like 30 minutes before, and I jumped in the shower. I, you know, you know, we're in COVID times. We're not showering. We had to like find <laughs> one take, up. one take, and that was it. We were joyful. We asked a couple of lesbians to like find some makeup. <laughs> it's in my house with my husband. I brought my my Asian flush. So, Matt <laughs> and James, are they frozen? Yeah, we're just our hosts. Oh, goodness gracious. We also love them. No. We're no. taking over. Oh, wow. It's fine. Completely taking over. Thank you <laughs> for yeah. coming. Yeah. James, James, what are you doing that your voice is so pristine during this time off? Because mine is just out of shape. Girl, listen, yeah. uh, my wife tells me to shut up um, constantly. You know, uh, I'm in the house, you know, doing stuff. She's like, please be quiet. Stop, stop. <laughs> you know, no one, mm -hmm. There's no one, there's no one here. Rest. So the only time, the only time I'm seeing is when I'm cleaning the house. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Natasha, we have to talk about your video for two seconds. Natasha did, so I told everybody to do Seasons of Love inside and then do Let the Sunshine in outside if they could. And Natasha, you did a full on video that started like on the driveway, she goes up the stairs, she's like on the balcony and like, mm -mm. I Shooting it, I get like that a side like Natasha and three versions of that. I was oh. like, it's like back to oh. one. Um, and everyone it was an argument. Jose <laughs> said you, you filmed yourself. I don't know why I didn't do that. My husband was my videographer, and everything was no, you have to go back and do. I was like, I'm supposed to be having fun here. This is joyous. <laughs> You're not helping. You're not helping. But <laughs> got it done and yeah, here he is dancing. But um, yeah, so yeah, I sent him because I didn't, and then I just didn't have time to look at him. I was just like, send it, just go. Back. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. Yeah. The crazy, the crazy thing you. is, uh, you you guys sent the video, you guys sent them email about going outside and doing you know in in the sunlight, and I when I went outside. It was just clouds. And so my wife sent me a text that was out there. She goes, are you going to sing Let the Clouds Come In? What you going to do? So I get out there and I wait for a specific moment right when just one sunbeam came in. So, you know, I was sitting back looking like, oh, my God, you know, everybody else going to be in the sun. And sure enough, there's Piala and the sun's coming over there. Everybody got, I'm like, I'm looking at just, just a you know, Winnie the Pooh cloudy day on my I, just said, I, I was like, thank God for that one sunbeam. I was like, please, Jesus, I just need some sun for a second. And he was like, all right, cool. I was worried and about the same done, thing, James. It was overcast. It was overcast here, too. But the sun what? came out on cue on one of my takes. It was like it came out right on cue. I was like, wow, okay, that was kind of awesome. <laughs> Can I, okay, um, what about Orphe and Andy? Hold on. Orphe and Andy. Andy. Uh, James uh, and Seth, I just want to say, oh, hi, guys. Hi. hi. I, I just want to be able to, I want, I wanted, I knew I was to say one thing tonight before when I got, got on here. I've gotten so many messages from our, our theater friends and our, our theater families. Um, how cathartic watching us do it last night was for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, it was such a surprise, you know, and us Broadway people, sometimes we see things on TV and we're kind of like, kind of left out of the, of the conversation. And so many of my, of my friends and castmates, former castmates, my phone exploded last night. I'm sure, I'm sure all of your phones were exploded last night, but just the, the level of like, oh my God, it, I, I was already crying all day, but when I saw you and I saw all of our other theater people, 
it was like the 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 the, the gushing happened at that point. Yeah. It was it meant so much to our community that that mm -hmm. this happened last night, and I I I felt it. I couldn't sleep last night. I like I was awake until like four in the morning because I was just so. <laughs> I was so like revved up with all this love that was coming through my cell phone from all my friends in the theater community. So thank you for, for making this happen, guys. Yeah, Aww. thank you guys. We still love you saying that because we all we want to do, we wanted so many people to be in it and we were so limited. So I, of course a part of us feels bad because there's so many people that were like, we couldn't put in it. So it makes me happy that yeah, that's, people- that's, you know, that's telling the betting story. I mean, everyone watching can hear, it's like, it was, by the way, I haven't even said it was not until two o'clock on Tuesday that I got the call saying everyone was vetted in the it's, video, in the, in the video, not it, from our it, full it, list. It literally wasn't. And it was due four hours later or hours later. I didn't know that everyone officially was cleared until that very afternoon. At the and like Shelly Williams said, we just had to kind of like go on faith Dave. that it was all going to work out and keep going because we didn't know we had a few people we had sing the whole song in case we had to pull people Jose, that we you the whole song. yeah so that so we had like if if someone wasn't vetted we were able to we'd be able to cover the song but it was you know we just proceeded on a prayer is what we did and you know what? No one would ever know. It looked so effing beautiful. It was great. Yeah. It was great. Everyone stepped up, but I just want to tell the Broadway community, we wanted you all in it, yes. and we were just limited. So just so everybody we had knows. had a little bit more time. Well, time and time. I don't know. They well, were just, like maybe if time, we, yeah. my point is, if we had had more time, maybe to keep we would begging. Have to keep begging for vetting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have so many clips after the show. So Orfe and Andy, by the way, speaking of phone exploding, Orfe, Orfe. Orfe called me. She's like, I'm hearing from people I've been heard from since 1983. <laughs> That's exactly what I sound like, too. I know. I can't believe it. That's how I sound like people. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. What do you know? I really did marry into New York. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who called you guys? I think it's so cute. It wasn't just Broadway people. It was. It was bare, no Broadway people ever called me. I'm still not a part of the oh, yeah. I'm just, I was vetted. I can't believe I made the cut. Andy was vetted, and then we said Mrs. Andy Carl. Go on. <laughs> they were like, okay, fine. The guy who died on SVU. No, actually, Orfe, Orfe, Orfe you were cleared. You were cleared before Andy. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Good. Boy, I, you were not I, vetted. I, I would have been glad to be the, the sacrificial lamb for Cheetah Rivera. I'm I would have shocked. been let, let you could push me out. Actually, when you were showing the video on the uh, when we watched it the night before, it was <laughs> it kept stopping. Like my my video, the video kept stopping, and it literally stopped just on her. And I was like, oh, they cut me out. Great. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, and now they're frozen. And now they're frozen. <laughs> Listen, yeah. y'all, I, I love you all. I got to get back to work. Not Thank you. Not not I was just, I was honored to be here with all you legends. I love y'all. All right. Love we love you, Iron Heart. Okay, so we're going to fill the square. We're going to bring on our last person. We're going to bring on Charlotte, but there's so many things we have to talk about. Oh, we got to talk about ripping first. So, Charlotte. Turns out, you know, it's we thought it was an ensemble piece. Turns out, it became Charlotte and Bois in Seasons of Love. Right? Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Hey, Charlotte. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Natasha. Hi, Buki. How are you? Good to see you, honey. Good to see you. I miss you too. Wait one oh, second. Glad to see you. Mic. I was so glad to see you while they're checking their mic. I was so glad to see you too. So glad you look amazing. You too, darling. You too. You brought the same. Great dancing, Charlotte. Yes. Thank you. Hello. Oh, now it's on. Okay, now it's working. What about yours? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now they're both working. Okay, so hold on. There's so many things I want to talk about. Before I get to Charlotte, let me do two things on Natasha. So I knew Natasha had to do our riffing section because she had the most amazing riff in our Georgia song, which was literally just a high B. Oh, well, okay, sorry. It was just a high B. Hold on. Audra, wait, hold on. Natasha. Okay. Everyone was just supposed to be riffing Georgia, just sort of on the F sharp area. And suddenly out of nowhere, Natasha added a high B. That is so brilliant. So this is from our Georgia video. Here we go. No one can. Neither can I. Today. Neither can I. 
I can whistle it. It is so pretty. So Orfe, I had a re- what I love about you, Orfe. I Orfe did my original "Let the Sunshine In" when Shell and I did the hair concert. Mm-hmm. How many years ago? 2003, 17 years ago. So this is Orfe's riff that she did in my original hair concert, which I asked her to recreate for this. So here's Orfe. She does. Oh, here we go. It's amazing. So I love that you recreated that. And then what happens? Okay, let me try to find it. At the end, I have it goes Orfe Keala Natasha. Let me see if I can find this. Hold on. I think this is it. Okay, Seth being tired, full video. Seth forgets money. Betty. Oh, by the way, this is one of the many clips that Shelly couldn't use because I begged Betty Buckley to have her horse and let the sunshine in. But by the time the horse, by the time the video began, the horse was like, peace out. I'm not in equity. Here we go. Look at this. Let the sunshine, let the sunshine in, the sun shine in. Let the sunshine, let the <laughs> sunshine. Oh <my God. laughs> that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> the horse is doing the horse is doing Melania Trump when they landed in Florida. She's like, So here's the very ending. So I think I think it goes Orfe. That's what was so fun with me and Shelby. We got to pick all these riffs. It goes or I think it goes Orfe, Natasha, and then K wait, who are the who are the riffers? I think it's Eigelhart, Orfe, Natasha, and then K Allen is the final Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. We just divided all the riffs up. Okay, that's not what I meant. That's her by herself. That's her by herself. But hold on, let me try to find it. It's Charlotte and hold on. I did, I have so many effing videos. Charlotte or Faye. It must be this. Hold please. End of the video. Where do you see Charlotte to the end? Hold on, Charlotte. Okay, that was not what I wanted. But it was Hold so on. great. That was, I, great. Hey, that was great. I did not. It, it made it all. I don't know about you. Have you have you seen that particular one where it's like from the website? It made it all feel so much more real, even though it was cool to see it on MSNBC or CNN or PBS. But to see that was like, wow. To have a signing. And to sign. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Oh, yeah. cool. yeah. hey, can we acknowledge, yeah. acknowledge her yet? Because she was great. She was like, Amazing. yeah, she was great. I know. Yeah. 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 Okay, so let's talk Charlotte. So, yes. Okay, so Charlotte. So once we once we decided to let the sunshine in, I was thinking, you know, Georgia was kind of a somber in a sense, but I was like, this is kind of up and like, you should have to be dancing. So I take Charlotte. I was like, can you like to dance with the sunshine in? So she writes back, yes, and then she adds, by the way, I have a sprained ankle. <laughs> so what was that about, Charlotte? I literally, you called me Monday night, right? Yeah. Can you do this for me on Tuesday, tomorrow? You got to get it in for me on Tuesday. And I had just sprained my ankle from, I was painting my bathroom and I had just sprained my ankle. So I was like, um, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm just, there I am, there I am, sprained ankle. So I just thought, you know, I'll do a little bop, bop, bop. That's my dog, that's my dog. And um, so he thinks I'm playing now and he's biting me right now. But um. Jasper. So, um, so then the next day, I you I called you and I was like, send me the music because the sun's going, the sun's going like soon. So please, Seth, send me the music so I can do this quickly. And then you sent it to me and I got the instructions and I just said, okay, I just play around here. And by so the way, then I said, what it was. Charlotte, I said I'm sending you acting notes. And then Charlotte's like, are you joking? And I said, no, Shelly has acting notes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold on, wait. I want to make sure I was thinking about Freddie. Freddie, oh, I know oh, you have to Charles, leave. Hold on. Freddie, we know Freddie has to go. Freddie, we love you. Hi, Thank you for being here. Oh my God. Original Hi. went. Thank you, Freddie. Original Hi. went. So anyways, I was like, Charlotte, I'm not joking. Shelly Lily has acting notes for you. So then we <laughs> finally took them in. So talk about talk about when you sent me the first video. Oh, oh, the one that are you gonna show the outtake? Well, no, first of all, well, first I'm gonna say she sent me a whole video which looked amazing. And I wrote oh, back. No. Yes. I, well, I did it several times, and then um my 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 beautiful friend Jonathan Coberta filmed it and my husband was there helping out. And we did a couple takes and then a few takes and then I was done. And I sent it in my, this is it, fabulous, perfect. And then you wrote back and you went, oh no, um, great, great, but you need to do it horizontal. <laughs> and I was like, I am going to kill you. You weren't, like, you you weren't like that. She actually wrote, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I really wrote, I'm gonna kill you. And then you wrote back, hey, listen, everybody under 40 knows that you have to do everything horizontal. <laughs> 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 like, God damn it. So we went back. Virtually, we got a better take. So, you know, I guess in the in the long run. Okay, so better. Better. I just have to interject for two seconds because I had, you know, everybody sent like everybody had like a couple seasons takes and they had probably two or three let the sunshine takes. So I'm looking at all the takes, everybody's takes. And I'm just going from folder to folder to folder. And I open up Charlotte's and I was literally like, and like my heart filled because I immediately missed Broadway. Like I missed Broadway so hard. Like it was just like, <gasps> and I felt like it was like, I just got injected with like our, you know, our special sauce. Like all of a sudden it was like Broadway came alive again. And it was so, it was so amazing. And I was sitting there at my table and my kids were like remote schooling. It was lunch. I was like, come here girls, look at this. And I made the, you know, they watch it and they're like, oh my gosh. And, and it was just like, I was like, that's, that's what we do. That's Broadway right there. And when we, you know, for something like this, you're putting pieces together, but I have no plan because I don't know what I'm going to get. And then the moment that I saw Charlotte's video, I called Seth and I was like, that's the whole end. Like, I know how the, I know how this ends. I know what Seasons is because everybody's got their solo. I don't know how the groups will go together. We'll figure that out in editing, but I know how this ends. And I literally, for the editor, I showed this to Charlotte, I was like, I literally drew this. And I was like, Jabbar, I need a box for Charlotte and we're gonna bring the, you know, everybody in. But like, it, it became so clear that we go from singing to this second this expression that goes beyond like when you can't speak you sing when you can't sing speak, when you can't sing anymore you dance like this is the arc of what we do as broadway artists and it was just it still like brings me so much joy to think about every time i see it but that first time charlotte the gift that you gave me and gave to all of us yeah oh Thank I had a friend text me said, uh, that charlotte was the uh, the 11 o'clock number of, of the whole show it was like <laughs> You thought you were like, oh, we we think we know what this is all about, and then she she then it's like, oh, and then it, it just overflow into the song. Uh, okay, so you know, Charlotte's like, my husband Terry Terrence Mann was holding the music. You act like he was having a good time, Charlotte. You sent me an outtake, <laughs> and he doesn't sound that happy. So this is when Charlotte. And that was the first one. He was already oh. pissed. <laughs> first taken already. He's had it. Listen, to, listen to him. Oh, I'm not gonna stand it for 25 minutes. Okay, just one more time. I, th I know how that feels. <laughs> James, Seth, you know how that feels. Come yeah, on. Baby Carl. There's a couple oh. of times you had to press play one too many times. <laughs> okay, then Charlotte's oh. like, she's like, now I'll be serious and do it again. Rolling.
You know, oh, Audra, man. Audra's on this really limited time. So I said, Audra, can you oh, just yeah, do Charlotte hasn't seen this. So I said, oh, yeah. I said, can you just do Let the Sunshine In? So Audra's like, fine, I'll give you two takes. So she sends me both takes. And I said, I sent her yours. I said, you know, it's supposed to be Joyce. Here's Charlotte doing it. So Audra goes, got it. So then Audra sends me two takes. And I said, these, you know, I said, whatever, they're fine. She goes, and I said, just send them, send them over to Shelly. And Audra goes, well, you should just watch them. And I was like, I'm sure they're fine. Audra yeah, goes, we were so rushed. We're like, come on. I was on. like, I don't have time. I'm sure it's fine. I'm like, fine. Like, so here's, this is what Audra sent me, just so I could check it out and see if it was okay. Second choice. Let the sunshine. Let the sunshine in. The sunshine in. <laughs> 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 oh, God, that's good. Oh, that's funny. Wow. Those moments that got us through the past oh. seven days. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. So I wanted to give a shout out to James because right at the very beginning, um, when I played that piano for that one second, James was going to film me. He's like, we have oh, two seconds. Show that at the end. I was going to show that at the oh, end. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to say anything. Yeah, that's right. Ben, can, we show, can we show the night? Well, I'm sorry. The other thing is, you know, my father was like, why weren't everyone's names Chiron on the bottom? And I'm like, oh. that's sort of weird to be like, yeah. Charlotte yeah. Amboise. So on the, in the YouTube video, I list everybody. However, I will say that right after the video aired, we sent a press release so that everyone knew who was in it. So today, there have been a couple of things that it's like the mystery Broadway performers. And I'm like, why are people reading their emails? So and that's been our, that's <laughs> been me and Shelly and Seth today is because, you know, we want everyone credited, you know, and everyone should get a shout out because there was so much mystery and Broadway stars and, you know, that CNN put up, but no one was getting credited, you know? And so that's been our mission today. So I'm so, so high strung about it. And then I see Scott Heller, who is the editor of the New York Times. He's like the chief. He's like the head of the arts and leisure he, section. Of, right. Uh, yeah. So he literally posts, he's the head of the arts and leisure. He literally posts on Twitter, like, who put together the inauguration concert? So I am so crazy. I'm like, how can the New York Times not know? I see this. Who pulled together the inauguration contract? I'm like, Scott Heller, who knows us? James like, take a screenshot. And I'm furious. <laughs> and then literally ADD style, I happen to go, oh, let me just read the rest of the sentence. Who pulled together the inauguration contract seasons of love? Let the sun shine in. They did. And they've been hosting a daily fundraising show since probably. <laughs> he referred back to, Scott Heller referred back to the New York Times article that he himself had approved and was in the last Sunday. I in only December. read that so and was just fuming. That, like, it's like a Jeopardy question. Well, that's hilarious. Yeah. I'm so angry. I was like, I can't read past the first sentence. I was furious. Uh -huh. um, now I want to show that other really nice clip that Shelly hasn't actually seen. Is that is this? Well, this? I, okay. Well, I was. Why? What else you want to do? Oh, where's say, Hans? Well, I, I, yeah, I, I'm hoping that Javier. Um, David, do we put it in the private chat if you had a chance to get a hold of um, Javier? Um, I know this one. Here's the thing with with uh. Shelly putting Charlotte in the center square. You know, there's so many different. Well, let me. I'll back up. You can watch the end, let the sunshine in, probably about ten times, and you're still going to spot new things. Mm -hmm. it, everything from, uh, you know, Kayla and the sun shining on her, to at the very mm -hmm. end, one of my favorite moments, Vanessa Williams and the way that she looks up and so joyous yeah. and happy and full of love. There's so many moments, but so I thought. Before we show that one, Seth, let's show what. Yeah, she, Charlotte, right? yeah, that's what. This is what we saw when Charlotte finally sent the correct one without angry Terrence Mann and without angry Terrence Mann <laughs> pants not falling off. So this is like the raw footage that we saw before that Shelley was like, "Okay, this is what it is." Rolling. 
Hold on. So just before we go into it, I that's my horrible, that's, that's horrible voice, by the way. So that's not Let Charlotte. The that's, sunshine. Not, that's not That's not Terry. <laughs> that's what asking, doing a really quick down and dirty scratch track for Charlotte. Okay, now we'll continue. I just want to make sure no one thought that was Terry or Charlotte singing. Yeah. That was <laughs> Rolling. So that was the raw, and then and then I don't know if any of you have seen this, but um, but someone had referred to this this what I'm about to show you in a tweet, and I asked Elise at Slate PR if they could find if they could find this, and I they did. Seen it. And Seth has not even seen this, so I'm going to show this. Yeah, you know when I got a little misty, which is kind of weird. When I texted you and said good morning, how you doing? What's yeah, up? I was like finally. <laughs> um, no, when they were doing the rent. Uh, thing. So they sang this uh, 525,600 minutes. 600 and all these different boxes and all these people. <laughs> and then they went in the hair, let the sun shine. And there was this woman dancing all of a sudden on like her back patio. And all of a sudden I got a little, uh, you allergy, got a little, attack, a little allergy attack. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Uh, oh, wow. it was. Yes. So the That's one thing awesome. that Chris Cuomo got misguided was you, Charlotte. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know that. That is That's awesome. cool. Wow. Yeah. And all with a broken it ankle. But it was exactly. Okay. Okay. Ankle. I'm like, if that's you, if that's dancing on a bro, I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like, let that be a lesson to you youngins who complain about eight shows a week. <laughs> well, that, was my, that was my thought. I was like, oh, I don't have to do a show tomorrow. What the hell? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, who cares if I can't walk for like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, I, Blow it out. we have to show this. This is just like unrelated because I, you know we really didn't know all the places that it was going to to air, which is why you know we said CNN and and what did we say? I'm so tired. Yeah. Amazon yeah. and like on their website, we didn't know if it was going to be on other networks, and so it was a surprise that it was on PBS and and MSNBC. But because we were trying to figure out, and they didn't tell us the exact time, we were like. So we saw we saw this the open, and we were like, surely. Well, like this is not us. This, this is gonna be a Helen Reddy song. Be, this can't be us. This is something else. I don't know what you thought. I'm Total. Carrie Washington. This day has been a long time coming. Groundbreaking women have fought for their dreams and carved the path, and now Kamala Harris is the first Black and South Asian woman vice president of these United States. She is the first, but she will not be the last. The future for girls everywhere is limitless. To celebrate this historic day, some extraordinary Broadway performers have come together to provide inspiration. I'm Carrie. Oh. I'm Carrie. Oh, so we were like, it's so great that it's Carrie Washington. She's been on the show. We love her. But it was so confusing. It's like, I thought it was going to be young girls and women. And so we were so like, oh my God, this is us. Push play. Like, I was like that too. Because I thought it was going to be Lynn. I thought he was going to introduce us. Because they kept saying, I thought that too. Up. Yeah. But when they said Lynn was coming up, I thought it was going to be Lynn introducing us. Me too. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I thought this was a commercial. I thought this was like during the inauguration, like a commercial to like air later on. And so I got yelled at a lot because I didn't tell anybody that we were doing it. (laughs) You did the right thing. You listened. That's right. That's right. (laughs) I want to just show some of those boxes that people don't know that final stuff. So this has, you'll see Orfe. Orfe, where were you? Were you on your balcony riffing? I was. How much, any yelled, being yelled at by the neighbor or just it's all good? Uh, they were, they, they, I didn't care. At some point, you just don't care. <laughs> too old down here, they can't hear anything. They couldn't hear a thing. And Andy, at what point did you pull a Terry man and go, I'm not gonna be here for 45 minutes while no, you- No, I, I'm actually completely the opposite. I'm like, dude, you gotta stand here in the sunshine. If you get the whole clip of her doing her solo, I have one of those sunshine shots too. And I'm like, yeah. I got the camera going. I'm, I'm, I'm like putting together stuff like, I should have just been it never with you, James. Ends. It James never ends. Yourself, you and <laughs> it never Jill ends. Put this thing together. Put your finger here. No, you did this. No, do this. Listen to me. <laughs> You're both nightmares. <laughs> okay, here we go. No idea. You come Wow. Played it. I oh, it's so good. All day. All day. Yep. We're going to play the whole thing in just a moment. Is there anything else we have to wrap up with? Um, um, I, okay, hold on. No, I guess not. I played so many. No, I guess not. Is you that? Wanna show, you want to show that beginning well, that, yeah, that you set up for me? Charlotte, I need you to call me. <laughs> I got a new phone. Call we me. Had, we, we had to set up the opening shot, and I was about to go on the radio. Oh, hold on. But before we do that, though, did What's you this? see this? Yes, my sister Beth from North Woodmere. We, this is where Seth is from. Yeah. My sister Beth got my hometown <laughs> paper to write about me. Oh my it's God! Oh my God. Of happy and mortified. Oh. Where's North Woodmere? That's that is hilarious. That's fabulous. Oh, Seth, where's North Woodmere? Long Island. The Island. Island. Okay. You're Cedarhurst, you know. Yeah, Jenna, you and I, same, same, same child. So you as know, Ellie yeah. was saying, we, <laughs> we, we at the beginning, we didn't have the beginning yet, or, or Shelly and Jabari didn't have the beginning yet. And so you basically, what did you tell me, Shelly, that you needed for, for me to shoot for stuff? So, you know, one of the directions was from, from, um, from Ricky and the team was that they didn't want to start from black and you couldn't end in black. So I was like, okay, so we should start with piano. And we should start with like hands on piano. We should pull out and then go into canvas so that there's kind of an organic, what are we looking at, right? So we're not just like, here's a face, right? (laughs) So that's what I, so this is all happening on Tuesday while you're trying to do the mixes. I was like, you got to capture, like give me five seconds of Seth playing at the piano. And it's and I have to do my radio show at three o'clock, and it was like ten to three. So I was uh, so I yep. decided I was going to channel Andy Carl and do my best <laughs> creative work from the key. Yes. Kelly told me what to do, and then and then I shot it, and then <clears throat> I didn't quite like it, and then I realized, oh, this is if this is going to be seen by I don't know millions of people, and this is the one little shot. Let's try to cram as I'll try to cram as much as I can. That there's broccoli downstairs. I'm giving her broccoli. Broccoli, right now. Um, as much as I can into that shot, and so I put in in the picture. Like I went ahead and got like picture of my mom and and his mom together from like eight years ago on a rosy cruise. Picture of Mandy. Um, two two paintings that Julie had done. I put them there. I put Seth with his siblings on the piano. I put a picture of my grandparents that I have from the 1940s because my grandfather, if he had lived, would have been 100 next month. And I thought, you know, this is my chance to honor my grandparents. Yeah. And so uh, so that's what I did. So and it's our literally t- all oh. in the shot. Oh. And, and oh. Seth thought Maggie oh. that he had before I met him. Wow. So yeah. That's my mom in the pink and his mom in the dark blue. That's our dog, oh. my old dog Maggie, who passed away on the piano. That's Mandy oh. up there. And my grandfather, when he was in the Navy, and I thought, okay, well, this is our way to say, uh, celebrate. That's oh, I love that. Amazing. 
That's that was awesome. his idea. It was very, very sweet. Uh, so, uh, and the SWAT, what, the SWAT watch was for the Swedish people? Is that what you were doing? You were just, like, yeah, and that was a shout out to my Swedish. You just show your first take that you sent me of you at the piano playing. And it was like, and I told James, I was like, start on the keys and you have bum, bum, and then zoom out. So I get Seth. And in the very first take, I mean, you probably don't have a queued up, do you? No, but I can very show it up. Oh my God. Okay, keep talking. Keep talking. Wait, why? Because I was playing to the camera too much? You were like, you're at the piano and you're like, it comes up and you were like this. I need another take. Good old Broadway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was like, was okay with Seth looking at the piano, thinking about all the people that we've lost this year. Like, I wrote like a <laughs> 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 Oh, that is so amazing. Oh, that's amazing. job. Shut up. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, oh, words yeah, that's perfect. You know, and peace out for the night. This was so much fun. Oh, my, oh my gosh, you guys. Well done, yeah. Seth and Jenny. Yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. Job. Yeah. Good yeah. job, Shelly. We're going to mix her, Shelby. Oh, Shelby. Thank you all so much. Oh, what a joy to make art together. Um, I can't so wait to do it again. Yeah. It was so fun. So let's watch this final. Now that we know all the inside scoop about Beth and Shelly and, and Cheetah and Terry Mann's anger and, and <laughs> Jose's husband saying he sounds terrible and <laughs> all the, me mugging to the camera and Andy <laughs> directing. And Jenna's drunkenness. All right. And we Tasha's all did heavy. it together. So congratulations. And I said it in the email, but I really meant it. It's just like all of you and everyone who's not here, who was in it, you made our lives so easy of just like everyone was so willing to just say, okay, no one complained of like, really, you're emailing me again or- We were so scared to keep emailing. Like we sent the wrong music, or, we sent the wrong this. Or me uh, calling okay. Beth or whenever, or hey, pointing out so nicely- Well, Charlotte that... complained, I'm gonna kill you. She did right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did it lovingly. <laughs> and she did it five minutes later. She yeah. like sent that amazing video. So there you go. So um, so thank you all so thank much. Thank you everybody. All right, and it's just it just shows the level of talent on Broadway. Like it's the unbelievableness of everybody. It's and just that there brilliant. Is no, there's no replacement for it. Um, so here we go. Everybody enjoy. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. Five hundred twenty-five thousand moments so deep. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. How do you measure? Measure a year in daylights, in sunsets, in midnight, in cups of coffee, in inches, in miles, in ladder and stride. In Do you measure a year in the life? How about love? How about love? How about love? Measuring love.
Damn, that's good. Wow. Night, everyone. Can't pop it out. <sighs> All right. Bye, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. We're going to have yeah. highlights tomorrow. We're off the air. Jose, I'm obsessed with your dancing at the end. Sassy.